Bring it to me then. Come and get it. Kelly, come and get it, please. Bring it to me. Bring it here in my hand. Good girl. Good girl.
not coming in. You don't want to come in and go in your little chair? Thank you. 
Just be fun. Everybody, thanks for watching that video. Really appreciate that. I just got a message from a, a childhood friend that another one of our friends uh, from childhood from hockey passed away this uh, past week. Um, nice guy, really super nice guy, and uh, spent quite a bit of time with him in our teens uh, because we went to high school together. But we we're also on the same hockey team for a few years. So our family got to know theirs quite well. My dad became friends with his dad. Uh, my sister played soccer with his younger sister. And uh, just a super, super nice family. And uh, just unexpectedly, he was on a school trip. He's a teacher down in York Region, Ontario, Canada. And uh, they were on a school trip. And I'm not sure what happened exactly, but he went into anaphylactic shock and died. Uh, 48 years old, same age as me, and uh, just tragic. I remember when we were younger, he did have some health issues. He had some, uh, he had, uh, had some allergies, and I know he had asthma, and that affected his uh, hockey playing a bit. But he was our goalie, so he was able to function quite well, and he was actually a really good goalie. So um, I'm sure he's had to deal with uh, situations like potential situations like this his entire life. But to be on a school trip at 48 years old and pass away suddenly is just tragic for him and of course tragic for everybody who knew him like I said he was well respected just a nice nice guy and a nice family so my heart goes out to them this week and uh, it's just a reminder that life can be short and those unexpected events can happen at any minute but it's also a reminder to live every single day to the fullest never know when your time is up and uh, you know 
don't know. It's uh, just, like I said, it's just a reminder to live life to the fullest. It's never a day that I want to go by that I didn't do what was necessary, didn't let the people I know, people I love know that I love them and to uh, live a full life, to live a full day every day. Not put off till tomorrow what I can do today. And just, uh, like I said, get the absolute uh, maximum out of every single minute and every day. So ironically, just a couple of days ago, I got a message while I was working right here on the on the gables uh, from from a couple of friends, childhood friends that uh, I was supposed to get together with. Kind of forgot or communication kind of broke down because I haven't been checking my messages. And sure enough, there was a, you know, a get together at uh, my friend Jeff's place and uh, for the families. So I packed up quickly and I. And I got down there and my wife and I joined them, had a couple of other couples, Daryl and Jeff, and we had a great time. And that video's on my other channel, uh, just uploaded that if you want to go check that out. But um, glad I did it. I uh, haven't seen enough of those guys and haven't seen enough of my, a lot of friends that I've made over the years. Craig was one of those guys that probably should have kept in touch with. There's people in your life that uh, come and go, but some of them have a bigger impact than others, or some of them are just nicer people than others, and you can maybe d uh, discover over time that there is those people that exist, and some of the others that maybe in your life aren't uh, maybe quite worth the time and effort that you put into it, which is kind of harsh, but it's the reality. I always talk about uh, when you're trying to lead a happy life, surrounding yourself with happy people or people that add to your life, or people that need your care, but don't... Uh, become selfish and take too much of your time without uh, considering what time that you need for yourself or for others. So, kind of a reflective moment. It's going to be a reflective day. I think I'm probably going to kind of reassess a lot of relationships that I have in my life for the rest of today and probably for a while. It's a shame that it takes a tragedy to uh, remind me of that and to remind anybody I guess of of what they have that's good in their life when you see something taken away like, you know, like a like a good guy like that then uh, yeah it's just a reminder to appreciate everybody in your life and to appreciate your situation look for the good in life instead of the bad and have gratitude anyway appreciate it thanks for watching and I'll see you up at the cabin next time take care